Okay. <laughs> Didn't work. All streaming servers and software suck. Oh, look at that! It's ultra wide now. Yeah. What? Yeah, looks fine. I mean, it's Cube World. I mean, it's, you know, like, it's fine. It's, it's fine. I can see what's going on. It's just, the last time, I was just like, what the fuck is happening, dude? What? I just saw that. Just saw that. That was cool. I did not know you could do that. <laughs> that reminds me of, um, Breath of the Wild. He has that planned. What a strange little window that just was. <laughs> like, in a cave. Nah, just, you know, doing shit. At least I enjoy the doing of the shit now, though. When I was in school, I was like, oh my god, I gotta do this. Why? And then I would be off on that tangent for hours. And days on end. And it still wouldn't be complete until I just sat down and was like, alright. I'm gonna spend all night and get this shit done, and I just did it. It's terrible. Did you guys know that there's a community research tier for No Man's Sky? I'm sorry, what? And we're on tier 3, we're at 27% universal community research pro progress. Oh, uh, wait, no, that's Destiny. Never mind. No, I didn't know that No Man's Sky had that. I knew Destiny had it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. And you get like different armor, boots, um, helmets and stuff like that for every tier that the community completes. That's really cool. I know that um, the Destiny 2 community um, got 10 trillion enemy kills in about two months. What? Mm -hmm. It, it, right? That's fucking cool, though. Mm -hmm. That's... Those are big numbers. Mm -hmm. Mushroom. Oh, a heart flower. Mushrooms! Oh, a oh. hot... Yeah, sure. But... Oh, okay, well, I... Oh, yeah, I see him now. Yeah, cotton capsule times one. There's three of them down there. 
It's very interesting that he chose to do that. Like, ind like individually sp uh, spell them out instead of just three times cotton capsule. It's one times, one times, one times. Oh, you done. Anger things. Stop yawning. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not though. Like I. I don't know. Like I. Oh okay. I figured. Wow. How. Strange that is. What uh, what comedian did that thing where it was like, what? Yeah, it's Spencer. Hang on, I'll be right back. You get a booty. I asked if he was getting a booty call. Calls instantly. All night, huh?
What? <laughs> 
comes back bigger than ever and it's going to bring fly to the world. Jesus. Just a commercial. Where did he go? <laughs> Who? Oh, gotcha. Nope. I didn't know it was Spencer. I knew he went and got on the phone. But yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep, babe. Love you. So sorry, said bye.
All right, I am lay back. So, uh, yeah, that was Spencer. Um, the girl he was talking to, and then she just mysteriously just kind of ghosted him. And, um, he, she was, uh, he was kind of worried about her, because, what the fuck was it, like, two months ago, she went to the ER for, like, heart problems or some shit? She's 31, so it's a little, a little too soon to be worried about heart problems. Um, she wouldn't text back, so she he rode by her house, and there was another car there in the parking lot, in, in the parking lot, in the driveway. And um, got come to find out, it was a dude. She was she was the dude behind the And come to find out that she did it to a few of my other buddies too. Yeah. And uh, Spencer was like, yeah, she um she always she wouldn't let me um come around like when her kid was awake. Because I found out from our friend Chris that um, the kid actually tattled on her, and uh, yeah, so she didn't want that to happen again. So Spencer wasn't allowed to like stay over when the kid was there, and um, she, he couldn't come over when the kid was uh, if the kid was away. Yep, she literally used her kid for ass. That's pathetic dude I agree and she's like a super cute like southern girl like I never no one you you if you met her you would never think she would be that way ever ever no I have <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> but, um... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but, yeah, so Spencer's like, yeah, dude, I'm not even, I'm not even mad. Like, I'm, I literally just bought her a, a little Oscar figurine. And, uh, I'm gonna give it to her at work on Monday. And be like, you fucking fooled me. You deserve this. <laughs> I was like, that's that's amazing. Oh, I invited Spencer to birthday, by the way. So, um, y'all should be able to meet him. Um, y'all, you'll love him. You'll love him. He's he's a dude. You're not wrong, and I, I literally just told him that. He was like, "Man, why is it so hard to find people worth like, like being friends with or being with or whatever here?" And I was like, "That's why I'm single." Because fuck that shit. My, my, mind you, um, she pulled this on Spencer the day, the literal day that Spencer's mom had a stroke and went to the ER. Remember that shit I was dealing with? Yeah, that was the day that shit happened. Saw it, viewed his, um, his, fuck, liked his status about Everyone pray for my mom, but never texted him, ever, and said, hey, I hope your mom feels better, or something. Uh, about a year, and they've been... Mm -hmm. Well, so, she dated our really, our uh, other really good friend, our mutual friend, Chris Cofield, and we were judging Chris because we thought Chris cheated on her. And, well, no, he did, It was, but it was to get back at her for cheating on him three times. And she didn't, and he didn't tell it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so he, he didn't even tell us. He was like, yeah, that bitch cheated on me three times. And we were like, why'd you stay with her? And he was like, I was in love. You do dumb shit when you're in love. I do. I did. I did. Dude, what are these, like... They look like gumdrops coming to kill you. What the fuck are those? That's so weird. I, I'm sorry, I've just been talking- we've been talking, but like... This is the most random thing ever, trying to kill you. And I've been trying to make heads or tails out of what the fuck this even is. They look like little, like, um, little thumb guards when you're sewing. Like multicolored thumb guards. Thimble. Mm hmm. What's the dealio with the, your purple aura? Your aura, you know, A-U-R-A. -A. Oh, it, it went away now. I, I guess that's your being poisoned or something? Did Morgan go to bed? Oh, Damn. My bad. I, uh... I, uh, how soon? Would it oh, it is. I see it. Time 0.59. So, yeah. Um, I... I hope Morgan knows I was just 
picking at her before. Like I don't I don't really actually think any of that shit. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. I, I just know that that's like a, a thing that she reveres and it's it's fun to pick at people sometimes. Just... Mm-hmm. They evolve. <laughs> Fuck is happening right now? Why did this just go to shit? No, it was on my end. My connection speed's 5,000 kbps. <laughs> garbage, son. Straight garbage. That's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, 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 you were you were getting somewhere. What were you talking about? The evolve or the changing? What, uh, what made you think of this? Mm hmm Oh! You think you can come a little stagnant? Oh, okay. And Skylar feels like he is stagnant. Okay, alright. <clears throat> there is something... I... Okay, alright. There is something I do have to talk to you about. <clears throat> I don't know if Skylar's talked to you yet about his well-being. On a level that, like, you get. But I... Uh, he did for me, and I totally understand, though. Um... He's basically caught in this loop of people are telling him that everything's fine and just to do this, do that, but he doesn't quite know how to do that yet. He's kind of, and it, it is what I said it was, it's literally the uh, therapist's fault that he is this way now, which is, it's a good thing and a bad thing because a lot of people have a lot of things that they're dealing with that they just kind of push to the side. like. Um, Samantha used to call it repressed memories, and she's like the only one that I ever really knew to use that combination of words like that, because I'd never heard that before. And I guess I do it now too. I repress memories that I don't really want to think about. But um, yeah, when when Skylar was talking to the uh, the therapist, um, they went through a lot of his Stills disease, and um his childhood and you know a lot of what what he feels like that he never really um like worked through that he just kind of pushed to the side and bottled up inside like um like you know most adults do right we don't talk about shit like we should we just kind of push it to the side and be like ah it's whatever doesn't really matter 
and um, his therapist got him to talk about all the shit that he's been bottled up inside of him, and he's in the part of rebuilding now. Um, he basically said it like, it's like if you, you have a nice car, and um, you know it's running fine for a while, it does everything fine, and then the motor blows. Well, you're starting to rebuild the motor, and people are like, oh, have you dynoed it yet? Oh, have you done this yet? Dude, that's that that's slow. You should get fat you could you should make the car faster. Oh did you turbo it yet? Oh you should do you should do that. And Skylar's like, well, you know, I'm I'm in the rebuild process, like it's gonna take some time, but yeah, I'll get there. You know, I'll add the turbo and I'll add you know, I'll dyno test it and whatnot. But I've I've gotta have time. It just takes time to build a motor. And all the while people are just bombarding you with questions about, you know, the car in the motor and is it ready to run yet? Has you done this? Have you done that? I I I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I asked you, am I? No. I'm straight. I, uh, and that, exactly, I 100% I agree with that. Um, I, I find it interesting because that's my stance on most Christians, honestly. The power of prayer, right? They just pray. They don't actively try to fix anything. They expect God to do it for them. And you can't do that. You can't do that. They don't, they don't help, right? It might make you feel a little better about your situation, but they don't actually help shit. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, I mean, you can't help someone that won't help themselves. And I feel like that's where we are with Skylar right now. He's trying to help himself, but he doesn't know how to yet, and he's either expecting the situation to just fix itself, or he's expecting the psychiatrist, or the, the therapist, I guess, to do it for him. Um, I had a feeling it was the, the therapist that brought all this shit on. I, I really did. I had a feeling about it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that it's not a good idea. I'm just saying right now... This shit was really fucked up timing. Yeah. That's how you grow. We have no other choice but to act. And Skylar doesn't realize that yet. Just like his, his job that he's got going on now. <laughs> just do. Just don't think, just do. It's a pig. It was a very small pig. But, um, 
I don't know. I I, I really feel for Skylar. I, I really do. I wish I knew how to help him. I agree. And he um he told this to his mom and you know, me and you are talking about they have a strange family dynamic. Um I mean my family does I, I feel like, you know, my family does too. I'm not, you know, just saying that their family's weird as shit. I mean my family, you know, we yell and scream at each other and an hour later we'll be totally fine. But um not he, he um yeah, exactly. Um, which is probably a good thing because we get those emotions out and we don't bottle them up. So, um, anyway, so he told his mom, he was like, yeah, mom, I'm just, I really just need time. And his mom basically said, just, you know, tough shit. You got to go get a job. You have to. You've been sitting here doing nothing for a long time. You got to go get a job. And, um, I was kind of surprised at that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like they're parenting that correctly. It's just Skyler's not. Uh, Skyler apparently told me he said some pretty hurtful things to his mom. Right. And become part of the workforce. Yeah. You have. Yeah, I, I understand that. Right. It is. It's dwindling. Exactly. You just ha you can't always think about the right move. You just have to do what's expected as a, a person of of society like i i feel bad right now that i'm not really contributing to society really i'm fixing people's computers a little bit but that's something but like it, it is now yeah because all the ideas are pretty much thought of and the ones that aren't require a lot of money or a lot of know-how. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's fruitless. No, no, I mean, but it's true, though. Like... Exactly. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's like, you know, um, when we were kids, you two went to Africa and made this whole thing about, you two, the man, um, went to Africa and made this whole thing about, you know, African water supply and all this kind of shit. Like, Bro, you helped a village and like two other surrounding villages. You didn't do shit for the country because the country got in that problem all by itself because they allow ruffians like the, um, God, the, the, you know, child soldiers and shit like that to exist. And, I mean,
what we did with the conflict diamonds, and we still do to this day. I mean, well, no, society did. Because conflict diamonds are worth more, and I don't know, are considered by jewelers to be better than regular diamonds because there's they they have a story. It's I don't know. I could go on to a whole spiel about that. It is exactly the blood diamonds. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? It's it's mind boggling, really. But uh, yeah, that's the world we live in, and it's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse. Like um, I don't know. I I just feel like a lot of people are doing just pointless shit right now in an attempt to make them look better as a person. But they aren't helping Jack. They're helping like a, a a moment in time. They're not helping, you know, anything else. Nice. I've been wondering what the fuck you've been doing. You've just been running around aimlessly. I can't hear you as well. Yes. Perfect. You mean that this region? Um, it'd be cool if there was a resource locator in this game. What? Fuck, how far behind am I? Oh, I'm right there. Okay. Found it. I don't know. I, um... Oh. I don't know where this world's going to be in the next 20 years. Uh -huh. I wish I could say that I'd be the same, but I, I just don't. I shared a thing, um, a few days ago that was like, uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about, you know, growing old or anything, because I'll probably be dead by 65 anyway, due to climate change. Wow, the throwing stars are wicked. Yeah, what's that purple shit around you right now? Um. So that's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like purple aura. I like projectiles in games. You 
You have probably 13 now? So when you get a, so when you do the cotton thing, it's an RNG chance to have, what, triplets? Interesting. Tri or not triplet, triples. Trips. Interesting. Strangest thing ever. I was super tired, like, a couple hours ago. Uh, yeah, right about a couple hours ago. And I drink a beer, and it usually makes me even more tired. It's giving me energy. Super strange. I don't even understand. Mm hmm. It that doesn't make sense. Ever. Not ever. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited about next week. Like, just hanging out. And, oh, it's gonna be great. Much less like working and fucking with a camera and drone. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So good. The snail? That's awesome. I love the snail. Please call him Gary. Or, or Larry. Remember that fucking episode? His name is Larry. Yeah. What? What? Okay. <laughs> that was... That's terrible. Like little thimbles. Wow, you just killed all three of those. Like a <laughs> <laughs> That's 
Snail plays slipping. All these zombies. This is really funny. You're just sitting there watching them fight for a second. <laughs> like you're like placing bets. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. They died like super quick. I was like, there's four trolls. Just there. I <laughs> laughed really hard at this. Gotta hate those things. Yeah, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and you're dead. Mm hmm. Yep. I wish your pet auto picked up stuff, that would be cool. I'm actually surprised there's not mods for this game. What visual ones are there? Oh, interesting. Oh, that's, that's pointless. Why are you playing the game? Or why are you playing the game if you're using infinite? Especially this type of game. It's like hacking Guild Wars. It's pointless. Most of the fun is the chase. The struggle, I guess. No, we haven't checked on in a while. <clears throat> outward. We haven't checked on outward in a while. There's a big patch on May 9th, May 7th. Are you still playing it in May? Maybe not. Fixed items lost for 